In this edition of Ask Me Anything, I got a great question on Instagram. The question was, I have sharp and stabbing pain on the back part of the ribs just below the shoulder blade. Each time it happens, I go to the chiropractor and they tell me my rib is out of place. I get an adjustment and it feels better for about a day, but it comes back more frequently. Is my rib really out of place or is something else wrong? In this episode, I set the story straight on one of the biggest lies chiropractors tell patients about their ribs popping out and also cover what is really going on and what to do to keep it from happening and getting any worse. I hope you learned something new and enjoy the show. Welcome back to the Injuries Explained Project, where we are on a hell of a mission to make chronic injuries obsolete by helping anyone that is injured and in pain get properly educated and informed on all their treatment options so they can have the best possible outcomes without ever having to resort to pain pills, injections, or surgeries, which only make things worse. My name is Dr. Matt Maggio. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the show. Just a quick disclaimer before we get started. All of the information presented in this episode is strictly my opinion and in no way, shape, or form should be misinterpreted as concrete medical advice or recommendations. If you're currently injured and in pain, please reach out to a qualified medical practitioner for a full diagnosis. If you've already done that, you haven't got any real answers, you're frustrated as hell, you just want to know what's going on and get down the path to getting your injury fixed and solved, you can reach out to us directly for an injury consultation. All of the information to do that is available in the show notes or wherever you might be consuming this content. Now that we got the boring stuff out of the way, let's get right into the show. One of the biggest lies chiropractors tell patients is their rib went out of place, especially when it's like a sharp stabbing pain anywhere uh, in the back part like below the shoulder blade near the spine they're like oh your rib popped out of place it's one of the most nonsense things that they say i've shared this a lot in my own experiences Uh, i got a chiropractic degree myself went through school got the doctorate don't really believe the adjustment does much of anything and a lot of times i think it makes things a lot worse so i'm definitely like anti-chiropractor but one thing that i hate is when People tell patients false things and educate them improperly. That's why I started this whole Injuries Explained project to help educate people. So when the chiropractor says, oh, my rib's out of place, or the client's been educated to the idea that their rib popped out of place, that's not actually happening. If your rib actually popped out of place, you'd be in a hell of a lot more pain. I dislocated one of my ribs when I played football. It was the worst thing I ever experienced in my entire life. And if you're actually thinking your rib went out of place and you're getting pain, No, they're lying to you. It isn't a rib problem. It's actually coming from somewhere else. So what's actually happening here? One of the problems that we end up seeing is what I call referral pain. So think of your neck, uh, the discs and the joints in your neck and all the nerves, and they have different areas of the body that they're responsible for. And specifically in your neck, the um, what's called the C5 to like the T1, control a lot of stuff down through your shoulder blades and through the middle part of your thoracic spine. And over time, with bad posture, uh, accidents, trauma, stress, not moving enough, all that kind of stuff, the muscles around there develop a lot of scar tissue. And I talk about scar tissue all the time, but basically scar tissue is like glue that gets inside the muscles and the ligaments and around the nerves and makes the muscle less flexible and weaker. And eventually what happens is that force has to go somewhere. And a lot of times it ends up going to like the joint and the disc in the neck. And when that happens and the disc and the joint get squeezed, they kind of get kind of angry and a little bit pissed off. And when that happens is they refer some pain down to these certain areas. So a lot of times that pain will be like a sharp, stabbing, burning type of feel. And there's these patterns called sclerotomes that kind of follow that whole pattern and give an idea what's happening. So a lot of times when you're experiencing that very deep pain in the shoulder blade, uh, tough breathing in and out, a lot of times that's actually a referral pain from a sclerotome and something actually going on in the neck. It's not a rib popping out of place. If a rib popped out of place, you would be on the floor screaming, unable to breathe, and you need to get to the hospital right away. It isn't simple as, oh, my rib went out of place and I'm in all this pain. No, there's other stuff going on and getting to the root cause of what's going on is is definitely important. 
So what causes all this as well? The disc don't just get bad overnight. The joint doesn't get bad overnight. So one thing that I end up seeing, you know, specifically in that like C5 to T1 region, there's a ligament that runs up the base of your spine. It's called your nuchal ligament. And its job is basically to support and open up your spine. And a lot of the muscles in the neck anchor to that as well. And like I said, with lousy posture, staring down at your phone, not moving enough, stress, all that stuff, that ligament doesn't get enough blood flow and oxygen. And then what happens is it becomes weaker, less flexible, causes issues in there. So now the muscles around there have to start working harder because the ligament doesn't work. Then they develop that scar tissue. Then as that scar tissue gets bigger and bigger, it starts to expand and eventually it gets stuck to a nerve. The nerve that it gets stuck to in that area is called the dorsal scapular nerve. And it can cause a lot of issues in there. It actually controls a lot of those deeper muscles in the shoulder blade and around the thoracic spine. And when nerves get stuck, they get really angry and they get really pissed off and they get sharp, they get stabbing, they get burning, they get numb, they get tingling. And when a nerve gets caught, everything else kind of tightens up. So a lot of times if you wake up and trouble turning your head or having trouble breathing in and out, a lot of times that nerve is just getting caught because when the nerve gets caught, everything else messes up because if the nervous system doesn't work, you don't work. So why does it feel better temporarily when you get an adjustment? I've covered this before, but I'll go a little just very similar, uh, very simply here. So you have your spinal cord and think of your spinal cord and there's two paths that kind of go up. It One is vibration and movement and one is pain. So what happens is when you get that adjustment, these things called mechanoreceptors, they start to go crazy and start firing and they just with the, with the movement and everything going. And when that happens, they block some of that pain. And when that pain gets blocked, you temporarily feel better. That's what happened with this person. They said, hey, I get an adjustment, but I, f I, I temporarily feel better, but it comes right back. The best example I can give of this is when you jam your thumb in a door, you shake it out. And that's what's happening is it feels better. It didn't fix anything, but it temporarily feels better. And that's an issue. That's why the adjustment temporarily feels better, but it's not actually fixing anything. It's bad for a treatment to only improve symptoms, how you feel, but not improve your overall functioning. I always say the pain is kind of like your body's check engine light coming on. It's letting you know, hey, something's wrong here. You need to listen. And if you do a treatment that only gets rid of the pain, but doesn't improve the function, it'd be like check engine light came on. He said, screw it pulled that off and then kept driving and eventually the car would blow up and cause bigger problems. This is what happens when you do treatments that solely focus on getting rid of symptoms like pain pills, injections, adjustments, stretching, all that stuff. You're not getting the tissue actually healthy. So what to do when this does happen? You know, this is pretty common. A lot of people experience this and a lot of times they tend to get more and more severe. And if you wake up and having trouble moving your head, trouble breathing, all that stuff, you kind of freak out. You're like, oh my gosh, there's something going wrong. My rib is jacked up. I got to get this fixed. I got to get it fixed right away. What you need to do is you, you need to not freak out. You actually need to leave it alone. Let it just kind of chill a little bit. Lay down for a little bit. Don't stretch it. Don't try to go get a deep tissue massage and definitely don't get adjusted because it temporarily feels better, but it's going to make it worse. I always say the symptom is there to tell you the tissue is getting overloaded and you need to listen. So how to keep it happening, how to keep it from happening in the future? I say this, I say first start off by getting quality soft tissue treatment from an expert that specializes in advanced treatment of the ligaments, the muscles, and the nerves, what they're able to do is get in there very precise and focused with their hands, the use of an instrument, and break down that scar tissue without having to do surgery or injections and actually a longer, more safe and effective type of treatment. Um, you know, specifically, they're going to focus like on the ligaments, the muscles and those nerves getting caught. Another thing to do is quit sitting like a hunched over giraffe staring down at your phone probably doing that right now as you're listening to this, like sit normal, be normal, get up, move around. And the thing is, once you get the tissue cleaned up, get all that scar tissue out of the nerves, the ligaments and the fascia, then you can actually start to do some work to strengthen the mid back area, because that's a really bad problem in most humans. It's a wreck because we spend way too much time looking down, not moving enough or too sedentary there as well. But the problem is, 
a lot of people think, oh, I just need to strengthen this area. I just need to stretch it. That's like brushing and flossing. Like that's important. But what's going on with the injury and the pain and that feeling like your ribs out of place is it's like a really bad cavity that needs precise and in-depth treatment from an expert first, then you strengthen it. It's kind of like putting the foundation and siding on before you put the roof on the house. So I think that's all I got for you guys in this episode. I'm trying to keep these ones a little shorter so you can just consume it, learn something new and try your best to not get suckered by the chiropractors until your rib keeps going out of place. That is nonsense. That's not actually happening. Understanding that they're just taking advantage of you. So please support the show by sharing it with others. If you have any other questions or topics you want me to cover on AMA, just send an email directly to us. If you're looking for real answers about what may be going on with your own injury and you're tired of getting jerked around by the medical system, then please reach out and request an injury consultation directly with our team. All of that information is available in the show notes or wherever you might be consuming this information. Thank you so much for listening and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.